So if we are doing the offensive between 7 and 8, so you see how we arrived at this calculation. We are ultimately taking only the completed years, isn't it? Because you see the length of service here, you see here, for this worker is also, it is more than 12 years, Joel Rahim Soto. It is more than 12 years actually. 12 years, 1 month and 30 days. Right. But then what did we extract from that? 12 years. Right. And then we did our calculation based on that. So actually we are only taking completed years of experience. Look at this unfortunate person, Christian Davidson. 10 years, 11 months, and 12 days. So he could say that, okay, in like two or three weeks I would be 11 years. Right. Why are you considering me as 10? Right, but we can't do, can't help. The way we calculated it was completed. Years of experience. Right. Yeah, I'm sure there is a better way of doing it. We can say, okay, if it is more than 10 years, then we do something like that. Yeah, of course we can do it. But here it is difficult to do, because we only extracted the number of years, based on this. Right, 10 years, 11 months, 12 days. Still, we consider him as 10 years. Okay. And it happened to me. Right, it happened to me. I mean, there is a story for this as well. I was applying to a position five or six years ago. And at that point I had completed. I mean very similar to this. I had around ten years, and I don't know, maybe seven or eight months, and a few days. So I applied to the recruiter, and the recruiter said, What is your total years of experience? I said it's around ten years and seven months. Right. And so she said, oh, our position is for somebody who has 11 years of experience. So I said, yeah, of course, but by the time I join you, it will be like another three, four months, because I have a notice period of three months and the interview process will take two months. So yeah, definitely, by the time I join I will be 11 years of experience. So she said, yeah, I agree but at this point I'll put you as 10 years experience. And then she asked, Hey, what is your relevant years of experience? I said for that. It is like three and a half years. And she said, Okay, I'll put total experience at three years. Right. So that's how it did and I was not qualified enough for the job because I had a total of three years of experience relevant to that. So I had three and a half. She put it at three. Total years, I had ten and a little more than ten years and seven months. She put it as ten. Okay. So that is how it is sometimes, that they will take only the completed years of experience. All right. Okay. So now, but okay, let me go back to this report. So what was the good thing and bad thing about this particular calculated field that we did? What did you? Did you like this way of doing the calculation? Evaluate expression. What do you think about it? It's good. Yeah. Right. You can do all those, if else conditions right, if, if this, if this, there are multiple conditions you can do. What is the problem with this?
so many calculated fields right. And even for this text constant. I mean, I want a fixed text. Why do I need to have a text constant? Right. But so I mean it sometimes can be a bit frustrating and resource intensive. I would say. Because even for giving a fixed text output, you have to create another calculated field. Okay. That sometimes can be a bit tricky. So what Workday has come up with now is Workday has enhanced it. And Workday has come up with something called an evaluate expression band. You want to see an evaluate expression band. Let's, let's do it okay. So it will. It will not take much long. It will not take longer, because we have already created the condition, the condition field. So create a calc field. Okay, I will do. I will show you three different ways of arriving at the same result. So instead of evaluate expression, we are going to do evaluate expression bands. Okay. That is a separate new function that has come up very recently. So derive experience band, or now we will say, determine experience bands from years of, from years of service. Actually the same thing, but just I want to use a different name so that we are able to search it quickly. Worker. And the function that we will use is evaluate expression band. You see right here, evaluate expression band. Okay. So this is a new function that has come up. So let's see what it does. Okay. Default value. Does it have to be a field? You see here, it had to be a field. I had to search for a field. Here, does it have to be a field? No, I can put it anything right. Let's say, okay, let's use the same thing. Dash. All right. And you see the beauty of it. It asks you for the condition, which is again, has to be a true, false. And here it says return value, if condition is true. But here, it is not a drop down. It is not a calculated field. It is just some text, some random text that I can put in, and it will work. Right. So it is much faster, much cleaner. So let's copy these condition criteria, because they are anyway the same. Okay. And instead of creating and storing something in the calculated field, I can just put it like this. Amateur amateur. And then let me just add the four conditions. Okay. And let's put it like this. Oh, this should have been the third criteria, isn't it? And what was the second criteria? 8 to 15. Okay. What was the last one? Greater than 31. Greater than 31 years. Okay, so this is legend. This is senior. This is experienced. And done. So how many fields did we create for this? Only four calculated fields, right, 
only four calculated fields. Here we can just put in some text. We did not have to store them in separate calculated fields. Smart, isn't it? But what is the problem, or what is the limitation with this? What is the limitation with this? What do you think? Does this one hold true? Functions that can return any of the above formats. Evaluate expression can return any of the formats. It gave me a drop down. I could choose text. I could choose the currency. I could choose anything. When I chose evaluate expression. But in an evaluate expression band, could I choose all those different types of output? No right. No. It can only return a simple instance or a text kind of output. That's it. It is a specialized version of evaluate expression, but for a very specific use case. Okay, so we have to remember that. It looks very nice. It is faster. Definitely it is faster. It is very, very good. And it will give you the same output with much less effort. Right, but it is not as versatile. Okay, so we still need evaluate expression. We will still need evaluate expression, that function. And, believe me, it is one of the most popular and most widely used calculated field function, evaluate expression. Because wherever you are going to write conditional logic, a series of conditional logic, you will have to use evaluate expression bands. Okay. So your experience bands, let's say eval expression bands, right? Just to make sure that we are using that particular calculation. So let me use this and run this report one more time. Okay, run.